Welcome to careforcustomers.com, the call center management series. Today we're going to show you how you calculate the number of agents required to handle a particular call volume. And when I say call volume, uh, I also mean emails or back office processes. So first of all, definition. In the industry, this is called call load. Again, it's a calculation to determine the number of staffing hours required to uh, be logged into your system in order to handle a certain volume of calls or emails or back office processes. So here's the calculation. Looks a little complex, but don't get too worried about it. We're actually going to break down each one of these uh, components and uh, explain them in a little bit more detail. So call load equals calls offered times your average handle time divided by occupancy and then divided by 3600. So what's call load? We should know it by now. The amount of agent time required to service the calls you receive. Calls offered, number of calls, again, or emails, back office processes you expect to receive in a period of time. Now, what's cool about this calculation is it doesn't matter if you are going to plug in uh, calls in an hour or whether or not for a week or a month or a year. What you're what the output of this calculation is going to give you is the total number of hours required to, to service the volume. So it allows you to, to be very flexible in the period of time that you pick. Next, let's talk about AHT. So average handle time. This is the average overall. Now, it's important to remember or to include, really, the talk time that your agents are going to have with your customers. That's, a, that's pretty much a given. But also calculate in what hold time you think there's going to be in each one of those calls. Especially if it's a new project, you probably expect to have a little higher hold time than you would in an ongoing uh, or an experienced team. And then also think about call wrap or after call work. So this is the time that uh, when the agent has said, you know, thanks to the customer, goodbye, have a great day. And then they spend a little bit of time working in the uh, system, clean up the account, uh, put in account details, whatever the case may be. Factor all of those uh, measures into your average handle time so you don't sort of undercut uh, that time. And let's talk about occupancy. Very important measure. This is, this is where you determine how busy you think your agents are going to be in an hour. And the higher the occupancy, the less time they have between calls. So give you an example. 50 minutes in a 60 minute period of time is equal to 83.3% occupancy. And, and I've said here, 80 to 85% occupancy is a good starting point. And that's really for, an ex for a team that is um, working in an expected call volume. If you're going to have a new project come on and you're just not quite sure, lower that occupancy to maybe uh, 70%, uh, play with that for a little while, and then determine if you need to change it. If you want a little bit more occupancy, just follow the link that's at the bottom of this page. And then 3600, you're probably wondering, what the heck is this 3600? Well, that's the number of seconds in an hour. So when you divide this calculation by 3600, what it does, it converts all of the seconds that are required for logged in time and converts it back into hours for you. So that way you can go out to your, your management team or your staffing team and say, hey guys, I need you know 15 hours uh, per day for this, for this queue. So again, just makes it uh, a little bit easier. So here's what your spreadsheet should look like. Really simple, column A, calls offered, average handle time, occupancy, seconds in an hour, and then the agent hours needed. So what I've done, I'm just using an example here. I'm going to say 300, I'm expecting 300 calls in a day, and I think that the average handle time is going to be two minutes for each one of those calls. And I, you know, because it's relatively simple, I, I'm hoping to have a high occupancy, so 85%. So that means agents working about 52 minutes of every hour and the seconds in an hour is standard, it's static, it doesn't change, universal across the world. <laughs> and then what that does, it calculates out here in B7 the number of hours of agent time required to service those calls. And what I did is I broke out the calculation for you just on the right side there so you can actually see how they all relate together. So that's how you calculate how many hours required for a particular call volume. Hopefully this has helped.